Well, I made it back from my trip and uh, I'm here back at Hilo near the harbour. It's, uh, yes, yeah, so I've got a whole heap to unpack about it. I didn't get the vlog during, which Ange will be upset about, but it was just too crowded. It wouldn't have been appropriate. I snuck, I snuck into the front right-hand corner of the boat. It was definitely the best one, so that was a big plus. Uh, it was very dark when we left. On the way out, it was pitch black. We just started driving out completely black. Being on that side, I could look back over the islands we went in, and it was this was the one of the best bits about the, the tour was uh, just being able to see back and see that I guess it's fisher number eight. You could all you could just see um, the lava sort of spewing up, and you could see the big red plume and the big cloud. And it was dark, of course. I, I tried to get some photos. Kind of like them. They're kind of a bit like an impressionist, like a sort of a Turnerish impression. I'll get Ange to include a photo. But I thought they, were, they turned out pretty well. They're pretty dark and grainy. And anyway, that was cool. But that was one of my favourite bits about um, the whole thing was that little trip in, just seeing it on the. And at one point, you could even see the, you could even see the lava river uh, just flowing down. And so that was the trip there. It, it was a fairly long trip. It was going to be hard to shoot the lava just because it's such a high contrast between the the black of the of the rock super bright lava and everything else being quite dark as well as it went on it, it evened out and we started to get some good shots but we soon discovered pretty much discovered straight away the more interesting part of it wasn't so much where the lava hit the water because it was kind of you couldn't really see it because of the steam that was coming up and also there was only little it wasn't like this big big river of lava flowing but what was really good was and the far more interesting thing the big plumes of steam i guess it was all the, the lays coming up it was just awesome it looked amazing uh and especially because the lava was sort of lighting it up pink underneath and and at some point when the the sunrise this hadn't quite risen but the sunrise light was getting similar to the light of the actual um of these lays cloud it started to look really nice probably my favorite thing there was what the steam was doing on the actual ocean it was just so cool uh, i got some photos i hope and a bit of footage i hope it comes out uh, but yeah just the little lines of steam shooting back in towards the sun along the little crest of the waves it just that was the best part i thought at some point the guy grabbed a bucket to give us a, you know to show us how hot the water was and then as we were leaving i found out more so i was near the door and a wave came through and just totally wet my, my legs and it was hot i was like oh you know it wasn't quite scolding but yeah it was it was interesting oh, yeah i really enjoyed it i thought it was awesome it was a long trip there and a long trip back really rough on the way there was it worth it yeah it was worth the trip yeah beautiful once in a lifetime and with the added bonus of the guy who ran it was telling us that his mate his friend uh runs a lava ri river tour and he sort of gave us a detail, so I'll be definitely giving him a call. I will see you, hopefully, I will see you at the Lava River Tour. That sounds awesome to me. So anyway, vlog out. See you later.
Aloha. We are on our way to the Black Sand Beach. We're just going for another explore. Not as big a drive as yesterday. No, just down to the beach because we'd like to have a swim. Yeah. Yes. And then I think we'll do some shopping after that. Come back up, drive back into Hilo and do some shopping. Yeah. Okay, we'll so see you later. quite as nice as white sand to walk on but it's I don't know it's pretty cool definitely like the contrast between the moss and the black that looks really cool yeah. anyway we will head off to do some more adventuring somewhere else and see you later so Angie's just got off the phone from Jerry Jerry is well he's a tour guide he's a tour guide or he works for the <laughs> For the French underground, is sneaking people out of Berlin or something like that. We don't know. Or, but he's also now sneaking people in to see the lava. To see the lava. So I was saying in my um, on my other post when I just finished the lava boat tour, the guy who was running it was um, giving giving out this guy's number to say he's started a new tour. Yeah. To go in and literally standing next to the uh, the lava. Yeah. As so it flows. Yeah, the river flow the, of the lava. The river of lava, which is no one can you can't no, get in no. you just can't get anywhere near like they've just blocked off anywhere near anything um, so he didn't give me too much info but here's what he told me he said that um, it there's no safety so it's a kind of enter at your own risk do the tour at your own risk this guy's just starting out so I think the tools are, the tour tours are quite small so he must drive people in in his car or truck yeah. or whatever um, and you have to have uh, safety boots, enclosed shoes. Uh, you have to have protective gas mask, um, a headlamp, and a torch. Uh, you'll be walking over the lava. Although he said he drives you pretty close to it, and you have you only have to walk like a hundred meters or something. So when so he told me all this, and then he told me what the price was. And well, no, it was well, from my. Let me tell you what it was from my end because I was driving, so Andrew's having the conversation, and then just like, uh huh, mm, yes, right. And how much would one charge for something like this? And then she's like, really? <laughs> and so she holds up her fingers, five of them. I'm like, five hundred for both of us, right? No, but she gets off the phone and tells me <laughs> it's five hundred dollars each. Five hundred dollars each. US. US. That's For one a, person. That's insane. So that's why I'm thinking, what? What he has to bribe, bribe the the guards at the crossing or something like he, this. He did say he makes a donation to, I guess, the people that are suffering, or maybe the people whose land he's going onto. Yeah. Um. But yeah, still. I straight up said. Uh, I wouldn't be doing it for five hundred. For five hundred, but my husband might still. I'm, want I'm to. still considering it. I really yeah. am. I, I mean, if you can get right next to the lava and see that high flow, it's once in a lifetime sort of thing. I'm just five hundred dollars. Holy shit! And he knows that people, crazy Australians and other Americans, will pay that. Yeah, he will think about it. Yeah. We'll let you know our decision. Five hundred. <laughs> okay. See ya. See ya.